and welcome to Question of Sport. The three of us have made it through pre-season, although, I've got to be honest, I struggle with a fitness test. <laughs> but now it's time to crack on with a new series, everybody! <laughs> OK, let's meet the teams. Alongside Sam is a medal-winning swimmer and one of the best boxers on the planet right now, everybody. It's Fran Alsall and Connor Ben. <laughs> And joining Hugo is an England international who absolutely loves a spectacular goal and the current Women's World Rugby Player of the Year. What a start this is. It's Andros Townsend and Zoe Olcroft. <laughs> Great start. Great start. So, now, the last series we finished on a draw, you two. Hugo, what have you been doing to up your game? It's been tight. It's been a busy summer, though. Women's Euros, Commonwealth Games. I've been taking my notepad as a spectator, oh. making sure I'm swatting up. OK, all right. And Sam? To be honest, Pat, I've not managed to get out much. I, I mean, not because <laughs> I'm not fun, but I've had my hands full. I've right. got a one-year-old and a very, very young baby. So, as you can imagine, I've been a little bit of lack of sleep. Um, Hands full. Yeah. But still been watching sport on TV. OK, yeah. Right, let's crack on with the first show. <laughs> OK, we're kicking things off with a starting 11. And Sam, your team are up first. Pick a number, get it right, you win a point. Your star player, which tonight is number 11, is worth two points. There's 60 seconds on the clock. What's your first number? One. Uh, George North. Correct. Yeah, two. Shona McCallan, three. Yep. Declan Rice. Yeah. Four. Who's that? Joe Root? Yeah. Six. Oh, Diaz. Yeah. Eleven. Coco Gulf? No, no. Who's that? Come on, Fran. I don't know who that is. Sorry. Connor. You're stuck there, mate. Venus Williams. Venus Williams, correct. Ten. Um, Hard Davis. Yes. Well, in nine. Oh, um, oh my goodness, why have I gone blank? No, no, no. Carla Murray. Yes. Seven. Nearly there. Oh, Laura Muir. Yes. Eight. Freya Anderson. Correct. Five, five. James Roby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Clean, sweet, great start. <laughs> <laughs> OK, 12 points, maximum score. Well done, Sam's team. <laughs> Tell you what, come out the blocks there. Pressure is on. Here we go, it's pressure is on. Clean sweep, let's see if we can get another one. OK, your star player is number nine. That's your two points. Minute on the clock. All right, where do you want to start? 11, please. 11. Oh, he goes swear tech. No. No, no, um... Oh, my gosh. Um... 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10. 10. <laughs> Adam Peaty. Yes. Nine. Star player. Oh, my word. Eight. Oh, we have to move on. I'm eight. struggling here. Jesse Tremelia. Yes. Seven. Christian Venteke. Yeah. Six, please. Sally Gunnell. Yeah. Five. Chisor. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, um, Dillian White. Um, yeah. Dillian White. Four. Uh, Lando, Lando Norris. Norris. Yeah. Three. Uh, Victor Victoria Pendleton. Yeah. Two. Aaron Smith. One. Yeah. Uh, Reese James. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the ones you didn't get, number nine, your star player, golfer, major winner. Matthew Fitzpatrick. Oh, my gosh. He just won it. Grand Slam Tennis, number 11, Simona Hallett. <sighs> and the rest you got. Nine points, though. <laughs> At the end of the round, the scores are Hugo's team are on nine, Sam's team, 12. <laughs> oh, We've got a brand new round for you now where each of our guests will have a chance to get themselves on the podium. But which colour medal will they aim for? They'll have a choice of facing a bronze question on their own sport, which is worth one point, a silver question worth two points on another sport that we're going to tell them 
or a goal question with three points on a mystery sport, and it could be absolutely anything. Fran, we're going to come to you first. Let's have a look at your podium. OK, so for your bronze, we've got swimming. Silver, two points, darts, and if you want to go for the maximum three, gold, it's a complete mystery. Right, we're ahead here, so we could go safe swimming. Is that safe, though? <laughs> Is it safe? <laughs> Tell me. We're all <laughs> so. We're all <laughs> so. You're the swimming pro. Yeah. <laughs> darts, anyone a fan of darts? Do you like a bit of darts, Connor? No, no. I don't know, no, not really. <laughs> it's up to you, Fran, it's, it's your round. You can either go Don't put swimming. this on me, team captain. I just... I want you to, I want you to feel welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, it's a strong start for your team, Sam. It's a strong start. Really I mean, you isn't. might have a go at the goal, but I don't know, but... Tempting, Paddy. It's your oh, podium, no, it's Fran. It's your question. podium. It's your podium. You know swimming? Do you know swimming? I don't know swimming. <laughs> We're hoping <laughs> you know swimming, <laughs> Fran. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's go swimming. I'll do we'll the go swimming. swimming. For I'll one point. Yeah. Believe okay. in yourself. Got this. I All right, in you. here we go. <laughs> At the 2017 World Championships, who brought world records in the finals of the 50 and 100 metre breaststroke and retained both of her titles two years later? Right. So she won. The... Sam, I didn't do breaststroke. <laughs> 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 Let's work through this. Okay. Right, I'm sure we can do it. Connor, do you do a bit of swimming? I do a little bit of swimming. Yeah. But can I'm... you do breaststroke? I can actually. There we go. Yeah. Swimming lessons. So you should school. know this then. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard swimming though, isn't it? You get knackered quite quick. Well, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. bet you don't. Quite Boxing, good for fitness, you've got to be though, ridiculously yeah. fit. Do you know what? It really is good for your swimming. Fitness wise. How know many? How many lengths when you're conditioning training? How many lengths are you doing at any one time? Could probably do maybe two, three out of training. Two. Yeah. <laughs> two. <laughs> Push, out of push. As fast as you I, can, I've got to be honest. Ooh. I thought you were, I were expecting no, more. Listen, no, but in, in, tra in training, I could do a fair few more. Maybe, maybe four or five pushing it. It's a hard sport. You're <laughs> though, aren't you? I'm only messing. I could do maybe 20, 30 laps. Yeah, yeah. Wow, superb, superb. In recovery. Okay, I think it's Lily King, Paddy. Miss Lily King from the USA. For the bronze. Correct. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> OK, Andros, over to you now, pal. Here's your podium. So your team's four points behind at the moment. Yeah. Obviously, you've got a point for football with your bronze. Athletics, two for silver, or a mystery one, three for gold. Yeah, I'm going to stick to football. OK, let's yeah, go with sorry football. About it. No, OK, no, don't be sorry. for a point. Who, by scoring a penalty in a 1-0 win over Wolves in December last year, became the most recent English player to score 100 Premier League goals? Most recent? Uh, Jamie Vardy. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go Jamie Vardy. For a point on the bronze? Yeah. Wrong. No way. Raheem Sterling. He's got 100 Premier League goals? He's got 100... You're saying that as though, like, how's he, how's he got that? <laughs> I would never have thought we had 100. We've yeah, got Vardy. Raheem yeah. Sterling. All right, OK. Love that bit of trolling as well. It's <laughs> nice, that. <laughs> <laughs> right, Connor, here we go. Let's have a look at your podium, pal. So we've got boxing for bronze, rugby league silver, or a mystery. Three points, gold. Do you know what? I love a little bit of risk. I like, little... I like it. Do you think so? I like it. And also, wow. if we get it right, we can proper rub it in, can't we? There we go. <laughs> Going for the goal. I'm happy go to follow you, Connor. Let's right. do it. Let's okay. do it. So, Woo. the mystery sport is basketball. <laughs> oh. Basketball? Ah, does it go on offer? It doesn't. No, but you're a big b ball fan as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll say. You keep your eye on Andros to see yeah. how the answer is. You go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. we'll. Uh... And the question is: the USA has won seven of the last eight men's Olympic gold medals. Which country won the other in 2004? Oh, man, that's difficult. Basketball, international teams, Spain, Argentina, are strong. If I would guess, it would be Argentina, but... See, I would say Spain, but, I mean, that's just my gut feeling. Not that I know, 
No, I know. So it's your question. Oh. Oh. It's your question, mate. You. No, I know, but I feel like I should definitely go with Argentina. Let's go Argentina. All right, we go Argentina then. For goal, for three points. Correct. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wowzers. Okay, Zoe, over to you now. Here's your podium. Right, okay. We are at the moment seven points behind. Surely. It's early. Well, it is early. <laughs> But I don't think there's seven rounds left. No. <laughs> <laughs> so... I think we're going to have to go for the so three. we've got rugby union, golf for silver or gold for three. We need points, yeah, don't let's, we? Let's go for it. Should we go for three? Yeah, let's go for I it. Think Should we go gold? For it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, go gold. For yeah, come on, let's go for it. OK, your mystery sport is canoeing. Oh. <laughs> you want my touch, Shirley. <laughs> And the we question is... Mind. It really is! <laughs> which European country has won the most medals in the history of the ICF Canoe Sprint World Championship? Is there something stuck up there? <laughs> Just looking for some points. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Rhyme a few off. You've obviously got GB... Ireland, a competitive Germany. Or Germany. I mean, oh, it, it, canoeing, to be fair, is a very tricky one. It's horrible. Okay, I've got an answer. Go for it. Germany. <sighs> they are second on the list. <gasps> the correct answer was Hungary. Unlucky, unlucky, never mind. And at the end of that round, the scores are Hugo's team are on nine, Sam's team, 16. <laughs> it's time to test your organisational skills now in a brand new round. I'll show you nine options and you must select the correct five answers, but to earn your points, you also need to get them in the right order. Hugo, your team are up first. And your question's on basketball. Oh, perfect. Oh, Happy he's pepped up now, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> OK. Which of these teams have made the most appearances in the NBA Finals? And you need to work out the correct five and place them in the right order. OK. Cavaliers. Yeah, the so we've bet. got yeah. the Cleveland Cavaliers, Chicago Bulls, Boston Celtics, LA Clippers, Orlando Magic, Brooklyn Nets, Toronto Raptors, Phoenix Suns, Golden State Warriors. Golden State Warriors is smashed. Cavs, it. Bulls, Celtic, Golden State. That's four. We need one more. Ooh, that was quick. <laughs> Oof. I'm going to say Raptors. <laughs> oh, no, but it's not just winning. Phoenix Suns have been in a been couple and lost. Yeah, you're right. Raptors have been in one. The most yeah. appearances most in the NBA in the Finals. OK, so we put Celtics at number one. OK. Celtics at number one. Chicago Bulls. Bulls two. two, yeah. OK. Golden State won it four years in a row. But when they won 19. it, they were in the finals with Cavs. Oh! I'm so say, you're saying Cavs I'm going to say Golden first. State, because they were in it this, this year, weren't they? The Go Golden, Golden State. State's Cavs. Cavs and then Phoenix Suns. Do we get more points if we get it first time? <laughs> no, but you, will, but you will look clever on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, when we reveal them now, your green ones are in the correct place, your orange ones are correct but in the wrong place, and red ones are totally wrong. Cool. Yeah. OK, let's have a look how many you've got so far. Oh, right, OK, wow. Great start, actually. Very good start. Okay. So, I wonder which order them are in, then. <laughs> So you've got three of them absolutely spot on, so obviously Sh should we, you're there. Should we bump up? Um, Are you being serious? Huh? Are you being serious? You were what? D so we just the two. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You sorry. go! No. 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 It looks Taxi. different here. Taxi! Taxi! It, it... <laughs> I couldn't see the oh, colour Literally, that's what I said. I went, ooh, no, no, you're going to do that. I couldn't see down. the colour. OK, I think... <laughs> we... Bring in, bring in. Um... That's brilliant. 
Should we swap Chicago balls? <laughs> yeah. Okay, what do you reckon, Zoe? I reckon, okay. I reckon. We'll flip them round. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, cos the tension is mounting in here. <laughs> yes! Well done, well, the well, second well. attempt. <laughs> Needed that. Needed that. Back in it. OK, Sam, over to your team now. Here's your options. Which of these footballers have scored the most goals in the Premier League? And you need to pick the correct five and place them in the right order. So we've got Gareth Bale, David Beckham, Ian Wright, Jermaine Defoe, Eden Hazard, Thierry Henry, Frank Lampard, Michael Owen, Luis Suarez. Defoe, Lampard and Owen are in the 100 club, aren't they? But in what order? But in what order? Um. Suarez, Hazard, Beckham, Bale. You can, you can put them in there if you want and, and not commit and then have a right look team. at it and move it round, if yeah. you like. We'll go... Uh, put Frank Lampard in one for now. OK, Frank Lampard at one. Defoe and Owen. Yeah. Defoe, and have a play two, around with Owen, Owen three. Hmm. We'll just decide the five, shall we? Should we just have to decide yeah. the five first? And who's your four and five? Uh, Henri. Four. And righty. At five. Ooh. OK, right. Now, looking at them, do you want to stick in that order or do you want to move a few around? One, two and three, I definitely think are one, two and three. But it's right. just whether we've got them in the right order. What are you thinking so far, Fran? I think Terry Henry scored a load of goals. He's got lots. Yeah, exactly. So, I reckon we budge him up a bit. You've got three goals at it, don't oh, forget. Oh. So, your first one, you can lock in whoever, have a look if they're red, orange, green. Should we do that? Because yeah. you've got yeah. another two yeah. chances. Yeah. Go on, then. All right, let's have a look. Who's who? Oh, oh right, so you've got yeah. Lampard and Wrighty, right? And you've got the other three right, yeah. but in the wrong order. So you've got two more attempts at shifting them around. Owen's pretty good, aren't he? Oh, man, maybe I'm getting mixed up with Owen. Well, either way, we're definitely going to get this right. You don't realise... Lampard, yeah. at the position he played, yeah. how many he scored? Yeah. It's ridiculous, <laughs> 20 a year, at least. Right, who yeah. shall we swap? Shall who we you put into where? Thierry? Yeah. Into... Three, I think. Three? Yeah. OK. You need to swap the other two around. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just write down the original <laughs> we so we don't forget. We've got the originals written please. down. So we had Defoe in two, Owen in three, Henri in four. Three, yes. Yeah, and now we have Owen in two, Henri in three, Defoe in four. Do you want to lock them in and have yeah, a look? You've still got, got, you've got another thing, chance yeah. after yeah. this. Yeah, we'll do that, yeah. All right, let's have a look. Oh, oh dear. Oh. oh, hang on a minute. We've got yeah, it now. No, this is concentration <laughs> levels 100 now. This is we have your to last get this chance right. now. Yes. Yes. You've got to get okay. this one right. OK, so Defoe <laughs> wasn't two and he wasn't four, therefore he must no. be yeah, yeah. three. So Henry. three. Those three. Henry's two. Owen. I told you it was Henry. Owen was yeah. there. Yes, you did. Come on, heck. <laughs> <laughs> Owen has been in three. He's yeah. been in two, but he's not been in... Yeah, four. Four? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see my well, this is like simple. Henry, he's been in four, he's been in three, but he's not been in two. Yeah, there we, there go. we go. Right. <laughs> that, is that right? You better get this right. I don't know. You're the one taking <laughs> the note. Now, now, before I do it, are you happy with that? Yeah. Uh, she... I mean, I think so. It looks about right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Last chance saloon. Here we go. Yes. Let's see if they all light up green. Yes! Well done! Well done, well done, well done. <laughs> so, we've got Frank Lampard, 177. Thierry Henry, 175. <laughs> Jermaine Defoe, 162. Michael Owen, 150. Ian Wright, 113. Well done. At the end of that round, the scores are Hugo's team are on 14, Sam's team, 21. <laughs> For this game, we've asked some QS viewers to help us out by filling in the blanks. Your job is to work out the three most popular answers. There's a point for each one you get right. You go. Your team can have first crack at it, OK? okay. And you've got Ian blank. Now, 
the goats. The goats of all Ians. OK? The audience, you can help out as well. You can shout out some well-known Ians. <laughs> right. Halter. Rush. 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 Rush, yeah. Rush. Ian Brown. Both of them. Thorpe. Oh, that was Thorpe. Thorpe was a good show. Ian. Right, it, Ian Wright's the first yeah. one I put down. Yeah. What have you got in your pad at the minute? Ian Wright. Yeah. Ian Botham. Yeah. Ian Rush. Yeah. Ian Bell. Right. Which is, yeah, OK, no applause. <laughs> Poulter. And Poulter. Great shout. So what do you reckon? I'm going, I'd say You've Botham. got a fair few legends yeah, on that list, yeah, don't yeah. you? Right. So Ian Wright, Ian Botham, Ian Rush. You, I go Poulter, yeah. Oh, Poulter. No. Yeah. Poulter. No, 100% both of them. Either I'm... way, you're, you're leaving out some big names. Yeah. Either way. Oh, so if I said Ian Wright, Ian Rush, Ian Poulter and left out both of them... Oh. <laughs> For the legacy of this show, we have to have Ian both of them on the show. Yeah. Ian Wright, Ian both of them. And then it's Rush or Poulter. Rush. Not even, not even up to the Rush. Rush. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Paddy, we yep. have an answer. Yeah. Ian Wright... Ian Botham, Ian Rush. OK, right, OK. So we're going to start with the top one first and work our way down. Who's the first Ian? <laughs> Botham! <laughs> <laughs> OK, second. Botham! Oh! They're mad. So... Who, do you, who else did you go for? You went for Russian right. Yeah. Got to be one of them two for you. Right. All right, let's have a look at the final one is. <laughs> Rush! Well, oh, two out of three. <laughs> four thumb for Rush. Well done. <laughs> OK, Sam's team, over to you. And you lot out there. This one is Chris. <laughs> Eubank. Eubank. Eubank, yes. Akabusi, I love that shout. Yes. <laughs> you've got Chris to go Wokes. Chris Eubank. You've got to go Eubank. Eubank. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Biggins isn't up, though. <laughs> <laughs> Kamara. Chris, Chris Kamara. Kamara. Oh. Kami, yeah, Kami. 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 Chris Kami. Kamara. That's a good shout. Yeah. Chris Kami. Chris Wokes, yeah. Chris Wokes, Chris Hoy, Chris Eubank. Yeah. Chris Definitely Cammy. Chris Eubank. What? Definitely Chris Eubank, yeah. Chris Ever? Oh. Yeah. Waddle's yeah. a nice shout. Waddle, yeah. At the moment, we've got Chris Wokes, Chris Hoy, Chris Eubank, Chris Kamara. Froome. Chris yeah. Froome. 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 We're definitely going to go Chris Hoy, yeah? Yeah, definitely Hoy. Yeah. Chris definitely Eubank. Chris Eubank, Eubank OK, sure, yeah. so the third is between Chris Wokes, Chris Kamara. Who do you fancy in that third slot? Connor? Oh, no, the names. Which one do you recognise out of Chris Wokes and Chris Kamara? <sighs> Kamara, for sure. Yeah? Yeah. Franny? Same, but a lot of people like their cricket, don't they? We're going to go Chris Hoy. Right. Yeah. Chris Eubank. OK. And Chris Wokes. Right, OK. <laughs> All right, we're looking for the big guns here, I, the I, legends. To be honest, I believe in whoever you've asked, because they said Ian Thorpe, and we said that straight off the bat. OK. All right, let's go with the top one first. Hoy. Hold on. Hoy, hoy. Hoy, hoy, hoy. OK. Your second one. Yes. yes. <laughs> and who do you use your last one? It was between Chris Kamara and Chris Wokes. And you went Wokes. Wokes. OK. Let's have a look who the last one was. Waddle! <laughs> Someone said it out Someone there as well. That. Someone said it out there. It means you scored two points. Well done, Sam's team. <laughs> At the end of the round, the scores are you girls team are on 16, Sam's team 23. Yeah. One more round to see who's going to win it tonight. And, as always, it'll be decided on the buzzer. It's one point for a correct answer, but get it wrong and it's one point away. OK, there is seven points difference here. 
Hugo's team need to be red hot on those buttons. But don't forget, get it wrong, it's a point away. Best of luck. Right, let's take a breath. First one of the series, who's taking the first win? In which sport do players compete in the Solheim Cup? Golf. Correct. Which batter hit England's second fastest test century at Trent Bridge earlier this year? Johnny Burstow. Correct. Whose 17 tries last season helped Saracens to the Premier 15's title? Oh, Saracens. Oh, Molly Packer. Correct. How many points is a field goal worth in the NFL? Three. Correct. Lee Wood beat which Northern Irishman to retain his WBA featherweight title in March? I should know this. Sorry, <laughs> don't worry, take your time. You don't know, you don't know it, not bad. Conlon. Who beat Brentford on the final day of last season to avoid relegation? <sighs> Leeds. Oh. Correct. Kate French is an Olympic champion in which sport? Modern pentathlon. Correct. 15-year-old Summer McIntosh won Worlds... Oh, she did win Worlds, yeah. In what? <laughs> <laughs> in swimming, in the 400 freestyle. Canada. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I've got to get on with it. Who is the only Welshman to win the World Snooker Championship since 1980? Is it Mark Williams? Correct. Which country beat Germany in the 2021... Oh! Oh! <laughs> and the final scores are... Hugo's team are on 19, Sam's 26! <laughs> Big win! Big win! Ooh! Roses! Oh. And I tell you what, Fran will always have Canada. <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to start the new series, and the fun has only just begun. Because next week, my mate Freddie Flintoff will be among the guests, so be sure to tune in. And the questions are going to be really tough for him. Anyway, <laughs> the three of us will see you next time. ta -ra. Hard at work and gladly helping out and doing their best. Service day by day with Ambulance. Watch it now on BBC iPlayer. Up next, this is My House on BBC One. <laughs>